This is The Process Shot. I'm Michael, I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater, and I've seen It, a 1927 silent romantic comedy directed by Clarence G. Badger and apparently Joseph von Sternberg, though he isn't credited. It follows the rather unusual romance of Betty Lou, a young woman working at a department store, and her boss Cyrus. They may come from different social classes and backgrounds, but their friends recognize that they have it, a concept described in the film as a natural quality of attraction, and it's because of it that the two catch each other's eyes, though they do, of course, have to contend with a number of other obstacles, from jealousy and rivals to misunderstandings and devious schemes. The movie kind of foregoes the idea of it, though, besides a few scenes to flaunt its appearance in old issues of Cosmopolitan, with a special guest appearance by the author behind the concept, as well as a couple of throwaway jokes here and there. The focus really is more on the romance between Betty Lou and Cyrus, and while the relationship may feel a bit by the numbers in the long run, especially when compared to modern romance tropes. It's developed with enough heart that it's not unnatural or forced in its execution. The actual character development is a bit light, since the focus on the story and its events is what drives the film, but what we do get certainly shows enough to say that they do have a distinct character and personality, especially in the case of Betty Lou. As a character, she's pretty well-rounded, with an independent and rowdy streak, marked by an equal amount of 1920 slang, and a softer side that puts others before herself. As a performance, she steals the scene in just about every minute she's there, thanks entirely to actress Clara Bow, whose energy radiates from the screen and is clearly made out as the film's main attraction. As for the rest of it, there's not all that much to say. The movie doesn't really aim for anything in its visual or technical style, with its camera clearly focused on characters and their acts, rather than presenting the world with any greater aesthetics or imagery. Granted, this isn't uncommon for the silent era of filmmaking, but by this point there have been plenty of other movies that show the creative possibilities of the medium. Then again, being flashy isn't necessarily the point. It's a luxurious movie, for sure, showing the rich and poor sides of the city, and how it's not about where you are in society that will make you happy, but the people you're with. And how, even so, not everybody will have whatever it is that makes them and others happy. Or something like that. When you think about it, it's a bit of a social division within social classes, but uh, that's an argument for another day. It. Clarence G. Badger, Joseph von Sternberg, 1927. Four stars. I'd recommend giving it a watch. Anyways, that's it for the review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have something to add, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. I should go back and see how many times I said it in this review. Hopefully not enough to make things confusing.